What's good? Time. Let's get it going. Welcome to episode 48 of Chop 15 with Jay Walker. Happy Friday to everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, um, rolling into your weekend. Got a conversation with uh, an MC and, uh, you know, radio personality now, but an MC that I've known for, man, maybe about 13 years. Um, Seen his ascension, man, his grind, his passion. Um, the evolution to where he's at now. Um, it's my dude, Henny Holyfield, man. Um, go ahead and bring him in, and uh, we're going to get this popping. What's good, Pam? Yo, what's good, my brother? Yo, what's going on, bro? How you doing, you man? Got this drink. I know you do. I know well, you hello. do. Totally right. So I have, that's why I already have mine cracked. I already know. That's I right. You, you know what the occasion is, man. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm blessed, man. Blessed. How you doing? Bless. I'm good, man. I'm good. I can't complain too much, man. You know, um, congratulations to you on the new album. You know what I'm saying? Cheers to that. I have, I have followed Thank the you, and seen what's going on. Cheers to that. Appreciate it. Proud of that thing. Also, congrats on the new the, the newest addition to your family as well. I haven't talked to you since you had the new one. Congrats on that yeah. as well. Thank you, man. It's uh, it's not easy. <laughs> oh, that. I know, man. You got two girls. You got two girls. You got two little girls. And even nothing to say to that, man. It's just it's going to be <laughs> going to be a lot to deal with. But, you know, I mean, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. But, I mean, <laughs> I know that it's coming. Sure. It's already it's already hitting me hard. So so the future <laughs> is gonna be uh it's gonna be a lot, but you know, we're ready. Right, right. I feel you, man. So how are you and the fam? How how have y'all been during this um, you know, this this crazy year, you know, this 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 pandemic? How how, how have you guys been doing? Uh we good, man. You know, uh we stayed in the house for the most part, you know what I'm saying? But uh we've been traveling a little bit too. Uh, you know, when I, I see my car seen. Yeah, went to, to Oklahoma, went to Vegas, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, family trips, sure. though, you know what I'm saying? We ain't out partying or nothing like that. We just, you know, uh, just visiting some folks and make sure they okay. But uh, for the most part, man, we've been in the house. We've been coming up with all kind of little creative ideas to keep ourselves occupied. I've been in here recording, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just gives us more time together. So we ain't, we ain't stressing. That's what's up, man. Um work how's 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 work for you have you been working or are you just you just on the music shit right now uh so so shout out to uc davis because they are actually okay. paying me to be home and not wow uh, you, know you, you know what though <laughs> you know what though shout out to them but the colleges do that shit though and that's like that's a state job right i believe so something like that you know what i mean but if, i mean if it's not it's, it's up there like that yeah Whatever the case is, they got it. They got it good enough to where they can, you know. Because I mean, there's the, the population of students up there right now is is minimal, and so they don't need all of us staff up there. So you know, if you got kids that that you know would be in daycare otherwise, they extend this leave, this paid leave for for us employees, right. and I ain't mad at yeah. it. Hey, I wouldn't be either, man. So you getting to be basically an employed ass rapper right now? How does that feel? <laughs> and it, which is why why you see so much shit just flying out of the woodworks right now because I've had time to just sit down and focus. This it's beautiful, man. I love it. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, man. I I, I was I was blessed to kind of be in the same situation where I'm not like hurting financially right now. So mm -hmm. really. It's really been a good time to lock in and get business right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, so I right, right. Yeah, you really producing more that. than you than you emceeing now, right? A lot more. Yeah, I'm okay. still I'm still rapping though. I'm still rapping though. Cats keep getting at me for stuff, and I'm doing shit here and there. It's really I really got to feel the joint though, man. It's like I right. I used to just rap the rap. I don't yeah. really rap the rap no more. 
like I gotta feel that shit, and I really gotta want to be on. Like, okay, I gotta be on this one. Like, I gotta I feel, feel it. You know, what I'm saying? I gotta feel the record too. But I'm but but slide features my way right now because I am <laughs> destroying anything in my path. I I'm I just. I've gotten into a different zone, and 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 I okay. really feel like I'm just ready to just drop consecutively, just for the amount of time that I went without dropping stuff because I had so many things that I was juggling. Okay, we're gonna talk about something before we get off of this. Before okay. the time, I will bring it back up. But yeah, we are gonna talk about something. But um, okay, okay. get into a couple other things, man. Um, how 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 are you feeling these days with everything that's been going on? With um, you know what I'm saying police and, and and protesting and, and racism and the government bullshit like you got any thoughts on any and all that any and all that madness besides uh, the other shit we dealing with i mean it's ugly you know i'm not feeling the the racism that has just probably just been you know shadowed over years and people are really just you know speaking how they truly feel the police been a problem it's getting worse before it's getting better you know what i'm saying i, I hate all that shit and uh, you know, and the government and, and all the, the, the fuckery going on behind there, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's really depressing to watch the news and, and, and tap in and, and uh you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, just see all that's going on in the world and then my, my kids is watching and it's just, you know, the world they're coming up in right now, like it's it's an ugly place, you know, but uh I try to stay positive, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you know, focus on the ones that are inside my my four walls, you know, and, and, and lend my helping hand to any other kind of uh, avenue I can in any way I can, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just, you know, it's a lot, man. Uh, this, this is a crazy world. I had a child born in, in the this era, you know what I'm saying, that, that's going on right now. It's crazy to even think that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that and the fact that you also have a son, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And how, how has it been navigating what's been going on, not only with COVID, but then, like, having to explain why they're protests. I know he's seen shit on TV, so I know he has to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, luckily, my son, this ain't new. I mean, they're just the whole idea of the police brutality, of the racism and all that. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've talked to my son, you know, over the years about everything that's going on. So he sees it, and it's a little, a little bit overwhelming because there's so much of it going on that's being brought to the forefront right now. But he's mentally a little bit more prepared for it than... You know, say somebody who's just seen it for the first time. Like he, yeah. he takes it in and he understands. It. Gotcha. See, and and you're doing your job as a father then, because you gotta. I mean, it sucks that you have to have those kind of conversations, but yeah. um, they have to be had, especially right. as you know. What I'm saying, black child, you gotta have them conversations. Like, yeah, of course. And and my son is, is 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 bright as as you know. He he would be mistaken for somebody that was fully white, but at the same time, though, all you got to do is have just a little bit of, of it in you. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, you still at risk being out here, uh, whether you, whether you whole black man, half whatever the percentage is that you have. You know, you are uh, you know labeled a statistic. Definitely, bro. Have you um have you ever have you have you made any kind of like political type songs before? Are you down for like songs like that, or is that something that you stay away from in your music? Uh, my thing is that I am not as educated on the whole topic as I would like to be. Uh, I have made a record. Um, uh, we made on the Beat Knocks album, we made a record, but it was, it was more of like a story of kind of similar situations to, you know, a young, young black man, you know, wrong place, wrong time. And it kind of tells the story. It doesn't necessarily advocate, you know, any kind of rights, but we are working on a song on me and Dirk Dick. We have an album coming out next month of the Cali boys, far West coast. We have a record on there. That's going to address that topic right there. Um, but I don't have a whole lot of music like that. I would like to make more records like that, but I have to be in a certain headspace to really portray what it is that I'm trying to say. Cause those are the type of songs that you don't, you want to do justice. You can't just, you know what I mean? Exactly. You can't just exactly. put it out there. You really got to be know what you're talking about, you know. For sure, for sure. No, no, I definitely agree with that. I agree with that. All right, man. So speaking of the rapping, man, you know, when I introduced you, I said I should. I've known you. Should I met you like probably like 2007, maybe six, seven, eight, somewhere around there. And I just was remember just, my you. My son was just born. Yeah, yeah, it's about about seven yeah. around there. So, okay. Yeah, because he was a baby, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, we're going, we're going on 14. Going on, How yeah, he, almost 14. Shit. Okay, there you go. I've known you yeah, that long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> man. But I remember, man, that I remember you at that point and then like seeing you get to where you are now, man, it's been it's been a pleasure to watch. Like, was that the beginning for you as an artist or were you doing things before that point? Uh, I mean, technically, I kind of started fresh out of high school. I moved to Texas. Uh, you know, that's where I first started recording. I did a couple of big openings like, you know, the Mysticals and Juveniles that were popping down there at the time. I was right. performing and all that, but I hadn't really got into the music like that as far as putting stuff out. I did a couple features here and there, but when I around the time I met you, I was really digging into it just wholly myself, not just doing features for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that's kind of the are beginning. You, are you originally from Tech? Are you originally nope. from Tech? No, sir. I am from uh, San Jose, California. Okay. okay. That's, you know what? Now that you said that, I remember you telling me that before. Okay. Yeah. I totally but I've lived in I SAC so long that, you know, I mean, SAC is home, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, people ask me where I'm from. I'm from the Bay. But but as far as my music and where I identify with, you know what I'm saying? Even though I still got ties to the Bay and I've grown, I've lived all over their place, Sacramento mm -hmm. is is home, you know what I'm saying? So I, I consider myself to be from here as well, just just like the Bay Area. I've spent one half of my life there and one half of my life here. So, you know, they go hand in hand. Uh, no, I, I totally get that. I've lived in a few places, but one thing a lot of people don't know about me is I lived in Sacramento longer than anywhere else mm. I've lived. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so I'm like, I got I got that same kind of like vibe with SAC. Like I tell people like, no, I'm from SAC too. You know what I'm saying? Right, so I'm right. Saying, like those are the three yeah. places I live, but sack longer than long longer than uh even the bay you know what right. i'm saying like it's they're almost even you know what i'm saying so and where you crazy, made man. the most impact musically is probably out here right they're here in yeah. uh reno and sacramento yeah yeah, yeah. so that's kind of why the whole calvada thing was all right 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 no, I, I, I remember <laughs> that's <all> right. <laughs> <laughs> so um so at that point, when I first met you, okay, you were doing your thing at that point. So were you, you were, you were solo? Were you ever in any groups or anything like that? And I've been in so many I mean, groups. I know, later, I know later on. I know later on. I've but been besides, in so Besides our, besides our, uh, uh, the, well, the three Gigante uh, Gigantes. See, I don't even bring that into mind when I think of all the groups I've been a part. I've been a part of so many groups, man. So when I met you. I don't either. We just kind of fucked around real quick. It wasn't like it was a like a group group. We yeah, we did, we, we did. We did like we did like songs, three records. Did the yeah. Show. yeah, yeah, did yeah. Show. But I like, mean, it was, it was some. It felt official. You know what I'm saying? And and at that point in time, like I was one of the gigantes. You know what I'm saying? You could tell me no difference. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but before that, man, I started off. I started off in a group BC Dub, uh, and was like the 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 add on member to that group. Um, like shortly, you know, maybe a year or two before I met you when I lived in Davis. Uh, then I transitioned and uh, I was in a group forensic, which uh, Saul is, is the common denominator between those two groups. I still rock with Saul. Um, but those were the first two groups that I was a part of. Then I kind of did the solo thing for a while. Uh, then I've been a part of uh, Snatch and Guap, <laughs> which I'm no longer a part of. Uh, the Cali Boys, which is which is something that I'm currently doing, and then the Beat Knocks, which is Saul too. So I, Saul is, okay. you know, we, we've been rocking for for some years. But uh, and then I did a, a couple of joint projects with my homie EMA. We didn't have a group name, but it was Tennessee and EMA. Um, I currently am working on a project with my cousin Alize Ali, Ali and Holyfield. That's another group situation. So <laughs> it's been so many groups, which is why you know I'm I'm really trying to do a lot of solo stuff right now. You may still see me doing features and putting stuff out there like that, but I, I had to get the solo album out. The next EP I drop is not having nobody on it. I'm taking that to the face, you know what I'm saying? Just because I would like to give my people that home for when they hear me what they what they want. Okay. Do you have um you have material for this EP yet or you just is this just an idea right now? I have, or are you like I have a record. I have a record. I have a record done okay. and uh and mastered and, and actually ready to release. It's actually going to be released on uh, September 29th. Um, as as okay. I'm still currently promoting this project that's out and the Cali Boys project is going to come out, we're going to start promoting the next project as well. So we're just trying hey, to... Bro. Hey, bro. I don't know if you've seen it, but I was just watching today. I was, besides working in here in the lab and shit, I was watching the uh, BT Chronicles of the, the No Limit story. Uh, my cousin told me about it. 
I didn't get I to see it, but right. uh, he I, talked about uh, Master P having the, the, the conversation with I Michael Jackson's wanna... attorney. I didn't watch the whole, I, I watched the first four episodes. There's one more, but Master P, dog, is mm -hmm. a sav, bro. Like, I didn't appreciate it as much as I should have when I was younger. Because I was just like, oh, yeah. he ain't that tight of a rapper, but I didn't realize what he was really doing. I, I, you know I felt the same way about his rapid skills, but I knew the little he was on to something with the little different color cases that was coming out, and all of them was just coming out at the same time. Like this thing is a you know a mastermind right here. Well, well, just they just said like I was watching. They said ninety eight, No Limit dropped twenty three albums in nineteen ninety eight. Damn, twenty three albums flood the market. So like. I'm like, you know, especially now, because people are so fucking uh, ADD and shit, like, just flood the market, shit. If yeah. You, if you feeling that way right now and you own, shit, yeah. hit them. I mean, I don't know about no 28 albums, but yeah, I'm exactly, definitely going to exactly. be busting them upside the head with these singles and, and while these, these albums still rotate, you know what I'm saying? And and like I said, I'm open for features, man. Reach out and, and let me know if you've got a dope record you need me on. I'm, I'm, I'm on that because I'm trying to, I, like I said, it, it, I went a long period of time where I wasn't dropping as much music as I would have liked to, especially not solo. So I feel like now I've got this second, third, I don't even know what number wind I'm on right now, but I'm, but I'm in a different zone and I'm, I'm you know, where I want to be uh, creatively, and I just feel like it's time to just unload, and, and people sit at home anyway, man, let's, you know, <laughs> sit at home and listen to some of this good music, man, help you, you know, lift your spirits a little bit. Exactly, exactly, I mean, and I've, when, there's been a lot of people I've talked to that I've known for years, and I've, you know, been making music with, or just watched and seen progress, and everybody's yeah. kind of going through, if they haven't done it already, they're going through it now where it's like this, it's this transition. Like you gotta, you gotta change it up, rebrand, rebrand, like new it. approach, you know yeah. what I'm saying? There's something, be, if you keep doing the same thing, you're gonna burn out. You know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta refresh it or something, especially when you've been in it like a decade plus. Right. You gotta something to keep yourself. I mean, unless, unless you top tier with that shit, then right. you stay with what you got. You know what I'm if you Jay Z, you ain't like, gotta change you know, a damn thing. Jay Z could put out, can continue to put out shit under Jay Z forever, ever. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gotta rebrand that. You go. But you know, you go. I know a decent amount of people that have recently rebranded themselves. Man, it's it's crazy, but it's it's dope to watch, man. You know, as well as myself. Yeah, it's you know. I think I think I said I think when you when you get into it and you start to get older and you've been doing it for a while, it's like you kind of need to refresh in things sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Whether you know whether it's picking up a new skill, doing something, or just rebranding your your musical image. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever. It's like sometimes that refresher is all you need to kickstart your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it seems like. You came out of nowhere with it. Like, I didn't even know you were on a transition. Like, where's where's the Henny Holyfield thing come from? Henny Holyfield. So uh, my cousin uh, is Alizé, um, but eventually went on to change his name to Alizé Ali because of copyright issues. Obviously, as we name ourselves after these, these liquors, you know what I'm saying? We have to, yeah. you know, worry about <laughs> later on. Down, yeah, later on down the road. And, and I've always said, you know, and, and the reason why I've just been stubborn about changing my name in the past is because I was like, if I'm making enough noise for Hennessy to reach out to me and be like, hello, we need some of that. I'm, 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 I made it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, well, fuck it, let's get it to that point. But as I, you know, get ready to, you know, venture off and just really try to push this like with a whole new level. I was like, well, do I want that to happen? Do I want to? get to that point no nah, not really you know what i'm saying so so anyway so lsa changed his name to ali uh we we i mean i started making music with him so that, and that's blood you know what i'm saying and so uh we came up with this idea for the album ali and holyfield you know what i'm saying it's henny holyfield he's okay. lsa ali henny holyfield and so i i like that you know what i'm saying and we was gonna do the album together um oh, i didn't I change myself. my name solely because of that though i changed my name because um there are a ton of Hennessy's out there, and, and I've seen it before, but, like, <laughs> go online and Google Hennessy, and you're not going to just get the liquor. There's not 500,000 rappers named Hennessy. Girls, guys, all kind of different variations and mixtures, not just hip-hop, EDM, you name it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 
Yeah, Jill I mean, it, it, it's a name that people are going to use. It's a name that people are going to use. It's, a, it's, it's, a po it's, it's one of the most popular drinks there is. So, so aside of Hennessy coming after me, like, there's names. And so I go on my Spotify one day, and I go on to Hennessy, and I got, you know, my first album on there because a lot of my other projects I, re I uh, dropped under group names. So my first project yeah. was all that's on there, but there's all these other Hennessy's, and there was, like, some EDM and some weird shit that just, it was a girl. And in my top five most popular songs, I had one. Are there I have one song on yeah. there that was mine, and the other four were these other Hennessy's. And so I was yeah. like, so if a person goes to search for me, you're going to hear EDM, and people going to be like, I had a guy that just reached out to me the other day and was telling me how much he liked my album, that Shit to Smoke To. I was like, what the fuck is that? I, I ain't never made an album called Shit to Smoke To. He reached That's out to you, but it was yeah. another Hennessy's album? It's another Hennessy's jamming all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I, I don't even know what that is. You know what I'm saying? That's the wrong Hennessy. He didn't even notice the rebrand. I showed him. He was like, oh, well, damn, that makes a difference. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that bothered me. And so I had already decided I was going to do that album with Ali. Ali was like, why not just do that? You know what I'm saying? You already go, let's go ahead and make the transition. Bam, I made the transition in, like, March. And and the 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 response is is incredible. Everybody around me was like, man, I really like that. You know what I'm saying? My my streams and everything online have, have gone way up from anything that I've ever done under under the, the previous alias. Like, it, it was okay. one of the best moves I've ever made. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm glad right. I did. Smart man. Smart man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Smart man. That's what's up, bro. I mean, shit, I ain't, I ain't mad at it, man. I had to do the same thing in the beginning of my career. I used to go by <laughs> caution. When I was rapping, I used to go by right, caution. Right. And, and back in the day, there was this motherfucking rapper that came out in New York named Caution. Mm. And they were a gay rapper. Oh. And they were assigned to fucking uh, Russell Simmons' wife at the time, Kamora Lee Simmons. They were okay. signed. She had a label. And they were signed to her. So okay. they were going to try to blow this gay rapper up and be like the first big gay rapper ever, right? Just try to blow oh. him up. Okay. And, and they were named Caution. And then, you know, I was like, okay. And then all the homies started bagging on me. All the <laughs> me. And I'm like, I already was going by Lefty Rose as an alias. I was just like, fuck it. I'll just be Lefty Rose now. Right. You know, whatever. You know? And then first I held on for it more. And I was like, no, nah, fuck that. This is my name. Hey, like, hey. High school. That shit and hard you know, to let, let go, go, man. It's hard to let go. go. I I was trying to spell my name differently in a with a C S E E at the end. I was like, <laughs> "What it am I right. going to?" Right. No, no, it looked like some weird ad, like a state or something like it. <laughs> this ain't. This ain't <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I was like, "This shit just don't feel right." I was like, "But damn, I just don't like." That's me, and and no matter if how you know the rebrand or whatever, people still call me what they call me, I and mean, all kind of variations of yakking, all kind. You know what I'm saying? I'm always gonna be here. You know what I'm saying? But it just, uh, you know, it, it it felt right, man, to to be able to to make the change. You know what I'm saying. So was the holy was the holy field just from the album thing you guys were doing? It was. I also consider myself to be the people's champ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm 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 the champ for the people you in the city. By that. I forgot. You know what I'm saying? It's true. That is true. Okay. Okay. It just it just felt right. It had a nice little ring to it. I you know what I'm saying just. Yeah, I, I I played with it for a little while. I like, ran it by a couple of people that was like, yeah, that's that's it. And then I got the logo made, and I was like, I'm sold. Ain't no going back now. There it is. There it is. I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah, appreciate it. So um, you got you know you got the album. Um, I see you got the win single and this and the remix with Mr. Fab. Yes, sir. That's big shit, man. Congrats. I seen that. That was like okay. How'd that yeah. come about? Uh, go, uh, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, fab, man. Uh, DJ Eddie Z. I, I originally was like, man, I would like to make this record big. I just felt like, uh, you know, DJ Eddie Z. When he heard it, he was like, this is, this is big, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, think of like we could shop this to some of these sports network networks, like. ESPN and Nike like some some win like hey, he was look how big you know, J Rock's record was huh that was a, a hit J Rock's record. he had that shit on it 
NBA playoffs, ESPN. Yeah. It was. I've seen it on some some games. Yeah, everywhere. everywhere. Right. Everywhere. But still, that wasn't. He was saying, you know, what I'm saying he was telling people to win, and 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 not to take anything away from his record. That's a dope record. But I felt like people needed to hear that somebody was rooting for them. You know, what I'm saying like we as 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 rappers specifically don't necessarily say that to each other, not musically. You know, what I'm saying maybe you tell your homie, hey, you know, what I mean, success. You know, what I mean, it's but true. but in a record to be like, I want to see you win, like. It just felt right to me. And so Eddie was like, bro, I, this is dope. Like, we could really push this. You know what I'm saying? I had said shit on the, on the hook one time, so I had to go in there and clean it up and, and make it. But he was like, man, I could push this to, to, to the masses. So I was like, well, damn, you got that much faith in it, man. Let's see what else we could do with this record. And so uh, he actually, I reached out to Fab. You know, some of these cats are just, uh, you know, <laughs> they get so many messages that they see a message and if they don't recognize you personally, then they're not going to respond. So I sent a message exactly. to Fab. He didn't, he didn't respond. So I put it in Eddie's ear and Eddie was like, man, I can just text Fab. I was like, well, if you got that kind of relationship, oh, well, we can text him. you yeah. know what I'm saying? Can you, can you see what it is? And so he, he reached out and was like, man, I got the homie and he's got this real positive record for the city. You know what I'm saying? You know, what can we do to make this happen? And, and Fab was like, man, what's your budget? Let's put it together. And 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 it really worked out great, you know what I'm saying? And I got it back in 24 hours, like it was just like it was a no-brainer for him, you know what I'm saying? And and it came out real dope, man, you know what I'm saying? And 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 I haven't even really put everything I'm gonna put into that record yet, but we definitely uh looking at doing a video, you know what I'm saying? And just really trying to get a push on that record, um, because the record itself is dope, but you know, with uh with Fab on there, you know, to get a little bit more attention. But uh, that's not the end of that record. Have you shot huh? it to any radio station, Jay? Uh, yeah, any radio station, Jay? yeah, yeah. I've had it. Uh, it's it was playing in um in Atlanta, one hundred one hundred three point two Atlanta radio FM radio station was playing it. Uh, I got a couple of different th people online that I'm working with, and they're shooting it to a whole bunch of different stations. I'm about to still push it to a couple more, but yeah, I've been I've been pushing that record because I believe in it. You know what I'm saying? That's for sure. But I've also got a nine one six remix on the way, and uh, that. We just gonna throw a name. Gatlin is on that record. You know what I'm saying? And uh and it's 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 got a different feel to it. And we talk about doing a video for that too. You know, I I did the fab record. I feel like that's gonna be big, but I wanted to do one for the city specifically too, just to let everybody know there. What they already right. know is that I I'm rooting for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, hey, I'm mixing a Gatlin record, man. Or er, er. A Gatlin song right now that he's on, man. Hey, that, that brother Cole, man. I like that dude. I like that Gatlin, dude. I never uh, met him before, but I like that dude. Yeah. Gatlin is, is, is one of the hardest working artists in the city, hands down. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, R.I.P. Uh, King Kahali, you know what I'm saying? But after that, that tragic event, um, some happened to Gat. And he went into this whole different zone. I don't know if you've heard his album, Insurgents. But that is... I haven't heard the album. I'm going to check that out. I haven't heard the album. It, it's revolutionary. It's not, it's not Gat that you're used to hearing. You know what I'm saying? And that is what made me reach out to him. When I heard that, I was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I, I hate that this had to happen to get you there. But this is a whole different side of you. And and, and the way he raps on my, my win record is like, <laughs> it was perfect. You know what I'm saying? He fits the deal, so... You know, shout out to Gap, man, and uh, be on the lookout for that win. 916 remix coming coming real soon, too. Man, that's what's up, bro. I, man, I like it, Doug. I like it. I'm definitely I'm definitely feeling it, bro. Like, I, I listened to it today because I saw you had the remix, so I listened to it today. Because what I like to do is when I post in my story who's going to be on that day, if they're an artist, I post some of their music. You know what I'm saying? Instead of if, it, if you're not an artist and you're like a, a, another kind of creative, I'll post one of my beats or something. But right, if it's right. an artist, I'm posting their shit. You know what I'm saying? So like I went through your shit and I was like, oh, let me post a new shit with Fab and I let's do it. Right, right. Like, oh, shit is cold. Okay. Yeah. Like, and I did like how you went about it. Like I'm rooting for you. Yeah. Don't root for me. I'm rooting for you. Right. Whether you rooting for me or not, you yeah. know. Yeah. It's a lot of, uh, you know, the hating individuals out there, man. Unfortunately, I, I never have had that state of mind. That's why I've been able to do what I've done for the radio scene as long as I have. I don't 
deal with the politics, none of that. Like, I genuinely love the culture and want to push it forward as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Well, speaking of radio, that was the next place I was going with you. Um, the radio, man. How long have you been on radio now? Uh, we we looking at uh, five years this month. Okay. Congrats on that. Uh, how did that start, man? How did that opportunity fall in your life? Uh, so, uh, Shout out to DJ Eddie Z and Mickey Tilts. Um, you know, at the time, they were the the biggest kind of like duo in the hip hop scene. Mickey Tilts was a host and Eddie was the DJ. And a lot of the big major shows that were going on, uh, they were them guys that was there. And so uh, Play a K and, uh, you know, he kind of drafted them and, and, and they invested some money and they started up the 360 Radio Network. Um, I believe it started out here in Sacramento, and then they transferred it to San Francisco City College. And so uh, me and Dirk Dig was rocking real tough at that point in time, and we was doing a lot of shows with them. And so, uh, you know, they were inviting guests to come out there and be on the show. And so they invited me and Dirk out there, went out to Frisco, and we had a nice little interview, and it was a good vibe, and, you know, we just enjoyed it. Well, from there, I guess they could no longer do it at San Francisco City College for whatever reason and decided that they were going to transfer back out here. Um, they got a building and, you know, they decided that they wanted to make it bigger than just them, you know, because, you know, Eddie was a DJ. Mickey was, I mean, they had schedules to where they couldn't just sit there and be the only radio host in here doing this. So what they right. decided to do is reach out to a, a handful of individuals that they felt like could make good segments you know and have multiple segments on the show and and asked you know would you like to be a part of this you know what i'm saying it's gonna take a little bit of money because you know it's ain't a free thing that we doing like it's we gotta invest into it but if you willing to invest like you know mickey got at me personally and was like i feel like y'all would be a good fit you and dirk vibe well your chemistry is dope you know what i'm saying why not have y'all on there and and let's see how it worked out and 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 truthfully man <laughs> I didn't know how to, you know, approach the situation at first because I, you know, I mean, I I talk to people I know, but I ain't never just been somebody to just sit and hold a conversation forever, ever. There's right. people that go out there and they initiate conversations. They kind of got that natural personality. That's not really me. You know what I'm saying? Even though I know a lot of people, I, you know, <laughs> you're more than likely going to have to come up to me and say something because I'm just not a chatty person like that, right, right, you know? Right. So I was a little terrified by being on this platform and hosting a show. Like, I don't like hosting, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather rock. I, let me listen to my music, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I was like, damn, this is an opportunity right here. Like, we don't have this in the city, you know what I'm saying? And as an artist, I'd like a station to play my music whenever, you know what I'm saying? Only play, like, local and underground music. Like, that's big. Like, I could be a part of that. I could be one of the people that... that helps make that happen for these other artists let's give it a shot you know what i'm saying and so me and dirk started out and we did it i think we did it about two and a half years um and shout out to my brother dirk man because uh you know that's that's family you know what i'm saying but uh you know when i see y'all i see y'all move real tough together that's what's that's, up. That, that's my brother man for real but uh when you have a group situation when you have more than one person who's making decisions, it doesn't always work out to both of the people's liking. You know what I'm saying? One person wants to do one thing, one person wants to do another thing. You got different opinions, and it doesn't always work out. And, and sometimes it ain't meant to be. So we, we, we had a nice little run, but, you know, just to, to keep it brief, we had a difference of opinion on how we wanted things to go and decided to stop doing the Cali Boys radio show. Um, and and he stopped doing the show for a while. I, I was too. I was in too deep at that point. I was like, I, I know that this ain't gonna work out no more. But now I feel confident enough to be in here by myself. I know what I want. I know how I want to run the show. Let's keep it going. And and then right. top, top Shelf Radio was born out of that. And uh, that's been going for like two and a half years. And and man, it's it's been great. That's man. just your show. That's just you solo doing your thing. That's my show. You know what I'm saying? I have I've had some guest hosts, you know, but but when we start talking about permanent co-host situations, I'm like, ah. I, I, 
I don't know that I really want to take that route again. Why? Because why? Why? I'm not trying control. to share the reins. Yeah, I got complete control, and not that I'm selfish, but at the same time, I know how I want my show to go, and that's what I'm going to do from this point on. Well, I mean, if it's successful for you that way, it's a lot easier to work with yourself and keep it right. successful as opposed to adding another dimension to the mix. Right. That's and other people it, have you know, told me that I should and, and reach out and try to find a new co-host. I don't really want nobody else in there with me. We could come and vibe. You, I got people that can come pull up anytime they want to and just sit and chill and you can co-host for the evening. But when we start talking about a permanent situation, yeah, that's not that's not really something I want to do. Yeah. Like, <laughs> So you had to invest, or are you like a like a, a part owner, or do you like own your show? Like, how did that work? Uh, I own my show. Um, what it is is that we we rent these um, buildings that we that we broadcast out of. So it's a collective okay. effort. Uh, the, the, all the people that are involved with the network. Station, you got y'all all chipping in to get that to make that happen. Got yeah, it. yeah, it's not it's not free. Contrary to y'all belief, this oh, ain't yeah. you know. No. It, you know, and there are ways that you can go and do it for free, but for us to be able to spin music and, and talk and, and do it at the quality that we do it, yeah, we got to invest. And, and I feel like it's worth every penny because, you know what I'm saying, we definitely, uh, you know, have made some kind of name in the city. We've definitely made a platform for a lot of artists to, to be able to get out there, you know, and it feels good, man. I mean, five years, I'm pretty sure you've interviewed hundreds upon hundreds of artists. <laughs> <laughs> just about, I mean, and, and and I say this all the time that there's 999 million rappers in Sacramento alone, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I've touched a lot of different demographics of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, from, you know, Phil Harmonic to, you know, I've had Lavish D on my show. I've had Marvelous. I've had T-Nutty, you know what I'm saying? And not to name drop or nothing like that, but I've had everything from the gangster rappers to the conscious rappers to, to the experimental to, right. I don't have no box there's no i'm not trying to just interview hey, one, one audience yeah i because because i before i got the show i had been doing all kind of shows myself or you know live shows so i've met and connected and networked and collaborated with all kind of different artists so i know that there's not just one sound in sacramento there's fucking a million you know what i'm saying so if i'm going to showcase the scene i'm going to showcase it in its entirety you're not going to get one type of sound and we're not just doing hip-hop we're doing r&b i've had a rock band on my show like i want to explain uh, promote the scene itself, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, a little bit of everybody has been. I had, I had, I had the whole uh, 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 Nate and Nate the Great and 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 his son and Marianne all on one episode. Like that was huge nice. to me. You know what I'm saying? Nice. I yeah. had, uh, I had uh, DJ Epic, DJ Oasis, and DJ Nocturnal on one episode. Like you know what I'm saying? Like videographers. Yeah. Like it's it's been it's been beautiful just to have these people come in there and 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 tell their story and talk about what they got going on. And these, these people are, are people I look at as, as legendary to the scene. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. no, uh, yeah, yeah. give sure. these people their roses, man. Promote them. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to wait until, you know, no RIP happens. Like let's show these people that we fucking love them and, and everything that they've done for the city and, and, and exactly. salute that shit. Exactly. I definitely appreciate that, that platform that you stepped up to and kind of, and kind of took, you know what I'm saying? Because you're now an ambassador for Sacramento, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's, and that's, that, that's bigger than just being an artist from Sacramento. You know what I'm saying? Which you're is another reason why. In the city, in the yeah. Culture. Which is another reason why I considered it as strongly as I did because truth be told, I mean, my music was doing okay before I got into the radio stuff. And, and I, you know, I've had a nice little decent buzz, but the way people view me now, is in a whole different light and respect, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just really, you know, it feels good that I'm a part of the scene, like embedded. Like if you go into Sacramento music history, like maybe there not for my music, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm there, you know what I'm saying? You can't look at the history of, of what's gone on in the city in the last 20 years and not bring my name up and not to sound conceited at all, but it just feels good to be embedded in the scene like that to be known as as a staple you know what i'm saying like somebody of, of importance and not just uh somebody you know one of the main people somebody that's helped push the culture forward somebody that you know is selfless and, and i'm not and, and if you see my show my show is not even to really promote me like that now don't get it twisted if i want you to hear something you won't hear that thing you know more than a few times but <laughs> 
I don't play myself unless that's the case. I play other people's stuff. It's not just to get myself out there. It's, it is to get right. myself out there, but it's really just to push the city. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's my main goal. You're getting yourself out there as a person. Right. And then if they like who you are as a person, they might fuck with your music. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of the same thing for me doing this right here. You know what I'm saying? I've had a lot of different people because they're friends of certain people I interview or, fa or you know, or fans of those people that have started to follow me or reached out to me or whatever. And now they fuck with me because of just hearing me have conversations. You ain't seen yeah. really what I do. You right. know what I'm saying? Maybe you have after watching an interview, but you know, you're watching me just talk to my, you know, talk to somebody that I know or another creative. So it's kind of cool to be able to impact people and get people to fuck with you on a bigger level without having to do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't have to go rap to these people to go they, for them to fuck with you. They fuck with you. Right. Right. You know what I'm so what what, so what made you what made you get into this? I'd I'd like to know. It was crazy because it was just a conversation I was having with one of my boys and I was just like, it was more of a thing like, man, I kind of want to, I kind of want to grow this page. You know, like I said, it's a transition rebranding kind of thing. I was like, I want to grow this page. And like, you know, I'm talking to him because he's pretty good on Instagram. I'm like, man, you know, what do you think I should do? And he's just like, yo, you know, you got to fuck with more live content, you know? And I'm yeah. like, okay. And then I thought about it. I got off the phone with him. I thought about it and I was like, Told my wife, I was like, man, what if I start interviewing my homies? Mm. I was like, you know, I know hella people. So it's like, what if I just start interviewing people? And it first started as like 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? But then like Yeah, I was gonna say, I swear, I swear we over the time a little bit. I would I would no, we, we can talk we thing. can talk as long as you want to. You know what I'm saying? No, bro, see that's the thing. Like I said, it started out as it was gonna be 15 minutes, yeah. but the fact that like shit has happened and there's been more things to talk about. And the fact that a lot of the people I'm talking to, we're fucking homies. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if I ain't talked to you in a while, we're going to talk. We're going to so we catch up. Yeah. It's like Chop 15 is just the name now. It really right. goes, you know, we got an hour limit. That's the hour, that's the limit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, most of the time, depending on who I'm talking to, they, they go anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm talking to. Yeah. Now I got as much time as you need, Lefty. I'm here for you. <laughs> well, shit, we still got about 17 minutes. So we good, okay. you know. It's it's the Instagram time limit. That's what it is. You know what oh, okay, saying? right, right. Yeah, they got the, the time on there. They put an hour on your live, so you get an hour. Yeah. you know what I'm saying at one time. Yes, yeah, sir. So, man, so I, so I was going to say uh, off of the radio stuff though. Even though that it has propelled me to the to the you know position that I have in the city now, um, you know I did enjoy being seen in that light, but I did not appreciate that I had gotten so far away from the music in some people's eyes that they forgot I rapped. See, and that's the thing about this, that I didn't want to do like a podcast podcast, because that's yeah. a lot of work, and it's going to take away from my music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I wanted to do something that just, just like rode the line. I could do something, but then it doesn't take away from what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Right. Yeah, and I'm still performing, and I'm still doing features here and there, but people was like, are you a full-blown radio host now? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, you know, but but come on, man. I still got it, though. And, and so kind of insulting you, huh? You're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and, and, and Casta didn't know me not as much, but they was like, oh, bro, I just thought you did radio. I, I didn't even know you. And I was like, nah, I can't, I can't allow you to feel like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got to clear that up for you, because yeah. I do it. You don't know. See, this is just something I do, but I do right. this. Right. For real, for real. <laughs> you know? But I enjoy both aspects, man. I'm glad to be able to bring both together. I'm glad to be able to promote my music uh, on the platform. I'm glad to be able to promote my platform through my music. It's, it's you know, it's a win-win situation. No, for sure. For sure. So, now we're back to the point where I said I was going to bring something up earlier, and I'm going to bring it back up earlier. Talk to me. Okay, we're, we're to that point now. So, uh, uh, you know, you was talking like, you know, you said, hey, you know, I'm trying to do things, trying to just drop shit, drop shit, drop shit. So, I mean, you know I did the EP with Bush, right? Yeah. This year. Um, it was a real simple thing. Um, let's do an EP, bro. Let's do it. <laughs> five songs. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Five songs. You know what I'm yeah, saying? and you know we make something happen. Yeah, I'm down. 
I'm all the way down. And that will be just something to add to the collection. Because, yeah, I want to make I want to make as much as I can. You know, I'm not getting no younger. You know what I'm saying? I would like these next two years to be just back to back to back. You're not going to be able to, to, to stop thinking about me because I'm going to be all over your, your timeline and everything else you got going on. Man. <laughs> if you follow me, you're going to see this shit. <laughs> I'm telling you. But, yeah, I would love to. Let's do it. Okay. Because, you know, I still got that record that you did with Theory. I still yeah, got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I listen to that from time to time. I fucking love that. Record. Done. You like yeah. it? You like it? Yeah. Okay, so we can use that for one, and then we got four more. Bang. It's super easy. Super yeah, let's easy. get it. Let's get it. All right, so yeah. I'm gonna have, I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going through beats this week and try to pick some things that I think you'll like. Okay. And then I'll shoot them to you, and then you yay or nay what you like, and then we'll go from there. Okay, if you like... I send you four, you like two, then work on those two, and I'll get you two more. You know what I'm saying? And we'll go from there. Yeah. I mean, just dig into that, that, that old lefty. Yourself. Are you recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we here, man. We got the, we got the microphone. You know what I'm saying? We got the nice little setup. <laughs> I, I, I could just go like this right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's. I mean, it's not like I could go. I mean, I got, I got a home-based studio that I go to, but I need to know that if I need to get something off my chest, I need to be able to do it and not have to depend on anybody else being open for me to do that. So, Very yeah, smart. we record, man. I, got you. I, can't, I, did that too. I can't mix and master yet, I, and I'm learning still. But I can record and I can send stems. You know I'm no, so hey, that's, that's all you need to do. As an artist, that's all you need to do. Yeah. If you got, if you got people that mix and master, that's all you need to do. All which you which I do. I, yeah, so it's easy money. Eventually, I'll, I'll be able to, to do it all myself. You know what I'm saying? It's a process. But in the meantime, yeah. though, just being able to record and, and send it over to get mixed and mastered is, is something that, you know, I'm glad I could do. You know what I mean, after all these years, I've been spoiled, man. I've been I've been having an engineer just be able to just record me whenever I need to. That shit don't happen no more. So I got to do it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it sucks when it goes away. That's when reality hits. You like, damn, I guess I gotta start recording myself now. <laughs> right. But you've been there for a while though, you know what I'm saying? We used to be rocking at that at the crib. And and else that's what I was gonna say. When you when you think about the beats to send me, you know what I'm saying, you know we used to the couple bangers that, that you threw my way back in the day, man. I yeah. still remember them drugs. You might have to resend them things to me, man, because I need to hear some of that shit. Oh, yeah. That one, yeah. that one, that, especially the one where I came oh. over and I was I was pissed after I got off of work that one day and I just went in. I need that record right there. <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to go through them old files, bro, because I know there's some shit in there, man. Cause you yeah, you recorded a lot of shit. Yeah. Man. We used to really record back in the day. I'm right? telling you, that's that was it, man. Come to your spot after the flame club and then get it in. <laughs> Hell yeah, it was right there. Right there. Yes, sir. Ransom, I see you, brother. What's popping, man? What's going on? What's good? Yeah, man. So, all right. Well, fuck it. That's what we're doing then. So, we we doing yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, so I will be sending you some beats this week for sure. Sounds good. I'm, I'm going to knock it out as fast as possible. Let's get that shit out, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to, to do it and, and drop that thing, man. It, it'll be, you know overdue you know what i'm saying like you said we had the gigantes thing we had a couple records that we recorded together but but to do a project being that you're on that side of the board now and can really just you know orchestrate that side out we come together and, and it'd be a beautiful thing I, I really like the project that you did with bush man that shit came out real nice thank you man hey you remember when we talked about that that was last yeah week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was out there. Those, we was out those there. Those were just remixes, bro. Honestly, right. like he didn't record anything. Like he sent nah. mixtape verses, and I made songs around them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's how that happened. Like he sent me verses, and I'm like, okay, this verse. I play the verse, and I just start making the beat to that verse. And I did that for five songs, and then he was like. This is fucking amazing. I can't believe you did this. Like, <laughs> I was like, I told you, just send me some shit. Like, just send me some shit. Like, it's nothing. I mean, I got a couple mixtape verses, but I would like to come a new too, you know what I'm saying? So maybe we, we do a little bit of both. No, nah, we can do, no, out. I want to do new with you. But okay, uh, okay. if you want to do, Never mind. if no, you no, ever no. want to shoot me some, if you ever want to shoot me something that just for like a remix, I can remix anything for you, bro. Like, okay. So it's whatever. You know okay. What so, okay. Now let's come a new. Let's no. do it. No. Yeah, for sure, man. So, what it? Did we just put it out so, there? I mean, but, I mean, yeah, I guess we just talked about what's next, but uh, what else you got coming down the pipeline and what you're working on right now? Uh, okay, so uh, we just dropped uh, 
the win record with Fab. Uh, like I said, the 916 remix is on the way. Uh, Gatlin, I'm not, uh, Saul is on that record too. Uh, you know, who's, who's my guy, man. And, 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 and it's real dope. Um, and we're going to do visuals for that. But as far as the next project is concerned, uh, it's the Cali boys, far West coast is the name of the project. Look for that, uh, late September at the latest. Um, we've got a bunch of singles out there for that. We just dropped the life. I live video, which is going crazy on world star hip hop right now. Oh, Tell the Cali boys, the life I live. I ain't even gonna tell you how many views we got on that thing. Oh, on World Star got that World yeah. Star thing popping up. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just felt like this time around, I'm not gonna just half step it. I'm not gonna put out anything and not get some kind of reaction to it. Like the world needs to hear this as at least as far as I can reach. You know what I'm saying? So everything that I do from this point on, know that it's gonna have that kind of push behind it. You know what I'm saying? So so be on the lookout for that for that Cali Boys album that's supposed to drop in in uh, September. Uh, the the Beat Knox album. Um, we don't have a release date on that, but we're damn we're like we're like seventeen songs into that. We may record three more and pick the best fifteen, but that's damn near done. Um, and then me and Alize Ali, we have the Ali and Holyfield album that's supposed to drop on New Year's Day. <laughs> and and every single all three of them projects, you are gonna get something different from me. You know what I'm saying like I'm 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 what I am by myself, but but these. Folks that I'm in these groups with, they bring something different out of me, and you just you just gonna get three just different projects. You know what I'm saying? And and they all gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? So y'all definitely need to be looking out for those. But I, I plan to to close out 2020 with a bang, and 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 bust into 2021, and just continue to keep that same energy. And 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 like I said, man, I don't I don't want you to even think about forgetting me right now. <laughs> if you're here, you're up, I'm on your time, I'm everywhere you're going. That's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Well, brother, I salute all of your success. Um, congrats on the album. Congrats on the single. Congrats on the family. Um, Thank you. Continue success, bro. Keep pushing, bro. Like keep keep moving, man. Because you you ain't doing nothing but trending up. That's all you need to be doing. If you still yeah. going, if you still trending this way, 10, 11, 12 years into the game, you 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 doing what you're supposed to be doing. Because yeah. you, you can always get better. You know what I mean? Right. You can always get better. Right. And I recognize that. And I would like to continue to progress. Better, that's when you should. Yeah. When the minute you think you, you think you can't get better, that's when you're fine. Then all your music starts sounding the same and you stop. You stop evolving with with the time, you know what I'm saying? Like these youngsters out here is playing a different game right now, you know what I'm saying? And 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 I know that it's some of us old heads that that you know from 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 the 80s and 90s, you know what I'm saying? That if we not at least respecting this new generation, that's not saying conform and change your music to what they doing because a lot of it is not what we trying to do. But you have to respect where music is going. And you have to be oh, able yeah. to, you know, to, to, to keep up. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> if yeah. not, you know, yeah. it's, it's not yeah. going to work out for you. Yeah, if not, you guys, you're just going to be confined to your era. Right. And, right. And now you're shutting yourself into this little era as right. opposed to there are younger kids who like music that we make. You know what right. I mean? There are. You know what but man? you just got to do it right. You see it. Young kids listen it, to this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, no, I, I mean, I was at, at UC Davis. I, I randomly asked people who got their headphones bumping as they come up to get some food, you know, what are you listening to? And and, and the answers blow me away because they into, you know, Mob Deep and it just and just like some of the classic hip hop shit. Like, I'm like, that's not what I expected at all. You know what I'm saying? But that's right, dope right, that your right. generation is listening to the greats like that. So that just goes to show that as long as you still appeal to these these younger cats then you can you still got a place in hip-hop you know what i'm saying you just and then yeah. and, and keep doing it as long as you can until you paralyzed and you know you can't talk no more whatever yeah. you know what i'm saying you're physically unable to rap anymore if you love this shit man don't stop doing that shit don't damn what anybody else say you're too old uh, or, or your time is the, none of that you know what i'm saying do it for you and continue to do it until you just feel like stopping i don't feel like stopping no time soon Exactly. So keep fucking pushing. Exactly. Yeah. Straight up. You too, man. Salute you and all your success over there, brother. You know what I'm saying? Salute on, on uh, you know, wifey and, 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 and everything that's going on with life. You know, I know we don't get to talk all the time, but yeah. congratulations and, and, and salute to you on, on where you have elevated to in life. 
my brother from where we used to be on 16th and V. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> man, we a long way from that, ain't we, dog? Yeah, we is. <laughs> Three kids later. Married <laughs> men and shit. Man, yeah. You know? yeah. But it's beautiful, man. That we can sit down and we can have this kind of conversation and we can salute each other on our successes rather than an RIP or free to homie or 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 rehab or some you know some bad situation that we got to be talking about or or not even be able to be talking. We able to sit here and talk about positivity and and, and salute each other on all the positive things that have happened in each other's life and and, and I'm thankful for that man and and I'm I'm glad that oh, you made it to where you're at. Thank you, man. Same to you, bro. And shit, we gonna be in conversation more now because shit, we about to yes. do something. Like, let's get you it. Know, I ain't playing. You know, you know, I know you, know, you ain't playing. I work. I ain't playing. So let's go. Happen. I'm ready, man. You can hit me after we end the stream if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> let's give, go. Me, give me five, ten minutes. I just might do that. So yeah. okay, let's um, get it. Shit, let me post the video and then shit. I'm gonna hit you up then, man. Um, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start, start, start plotting. Yeah, let's get it. And, and and everybody tuned in, man. Please make sure y'all tune in to Top Shelf Radio every Sunday night, 9 p.m. Uh, I do my show, and, and I, I interview a lot of dope people in the city. I play a lot of dope music from the city. Um, and, and you know, I, we have a good time, man. You know what I'm saying? So so tune in. Subscribe on the 360 Radio on YouTube. Go get that Clock In album. Please listen to it from front to back. Best work that I've done thus far, and I'm really proud of it. You know what I'm saying? So Love it. Love it. Well, shit, Henny Holyfield, thank you, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and end this, and then uh, I'm gonna hit you in a minute, and we gonna, you know, see what's popping. Is this saved? Do you save this to IGTV so that I can share it from here on? Yep, give me five minutes, it'll be up. Okay, got that. Appreciate right, you, bro. brother. All right. Have a good night. You too. Shout out to my dude, Henny Holyfield, man. Great conversation. I want to thank everybody who tuned in. Uh, came in, dipped out, or even that are here right now. Thank you for uh, kicking it with us for a minute. Hope you enjoyed the convo. Um, I'll be back on Monday uh, with a special guest, man. I'm not going to reveal it yet. I will let you guys know this weekend, um, but it's going to be dope, man. I got a couple of guests this week that I'm really excited to talk to, and I hope you guys are ready. So, um, oh, yeah, that's another thing I wanted to say. So, if anybody in here is a Nipsey Hustle fan, man, shout out to Nipsey Hustle, man. Tomorrow's his birthday. Rest in peace. Um, and me and my boys have a project that we are dropping on jaywalkermedia.com. Matter of fact, if you go to my site right now, it's up right now. Free download. We remixed the entire TMC Nipsey Hustle mixtape, um, Beirut Production. So, it's all new beats over Nipsey, over Nipsey's bars. Um, free download. Just go to my website. Link is in my bio. Uh, free. Check it out. Knock it tomorrow. It's Nipsey's birthday. And represent um, if you choose to. If not, I understand. Yeah. So, um, everybody, I hope you guys stay safe. Stay aware. Have a great evening and weekend. And I will see you all on Monday. Peace.